Uh, uh, Dylan, I'm scared. Don't worry, Will. Follow me. Fire's getting out of control. We still got two people inside. Oh, my baby boy, please get him out of there. There's too much fire. I don't think we're going to make it out of here. No, I'm your big brother. You listen to me and follow me. Come on. Uh, uh, look, we made it. Will. Oh, honey, are you okay? Oh, I was really scared. Quick, let's get away from this house. Oh, my gosh, Will. What happened? Yeah, don't worry, Mom. I'm fine, too. <laughs> yeah, I know you're fine, Dylan. I can see that. Oh, Will, I was so worried. I love you so much. Why don't you love me? What? You don't love me at all, Mom, do you? Dylan, that is not true. Stop it. Mom, my ankle hurts. What? Your ankle hurts? Oh, no, no, no. Excuse me. You need to call an ambulance right now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right away. What? Excuse me, doctor. Hello? Uh, yeah, what seems to be the problem? My son, Will, here has a sprained ankle. If it's a sprained ankle, your son's probably gonna be fine. There's nothing I can do for a sprain. Hey, guys! <coughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time breathing! <coughs> what happened? What is going on here? Oh, that's just my son, but look, my sons were just in a fire. Your boys were in a fire? That cough seems pretty serious. We need to get him help quickly. What about Will? All right, fine. Look, we'll check both these boys out. Let's go, come on! Well, I hope you're satisfied with yourself, Dylan. Satisfied with myself? What? Your brother had a sprained ankle and you took all the attention away from him. Like you always do. You could care less that I almost had smoke inhalation. I could have gotten seriously sick or worse. All you were worried about is Will. You are so selfish. You never think of anybody else but yourself, don't you? What? I went in that fire to save Will. And there you go, making it all about yourself again. You want me to call you a hero? Fine, Dylan. You're the hero. Mom, just leave, okay? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with your attitude. Thank you for taking us shopping, Mom. Oh, of course, honey. Well, since all of our clothes and things burned in the fire, we're going to have to get new stuff. Here, here's $40 a piece. I think that should be enough. What? No, Mom, I need more than this. You know what? You're right. Here. Here's $100 for you, Will. Am I getting any more, too? Um, no. That's all the money that I have. Yeah, and I'm not sharing either, so don't ask. Thanks again, Mom. Oh, I'm going to GameStop. We're supposed to buy clothes, not video games. Ugh. Mom, this isn't fair. <sighs> What's not fair? It's obvious you love Will more than me. What? That's not true at all. So what? I gave him an extra $100. Big deal. He was the one that was caught in the fire. You're just completely spoiling him. No, I'm not. Look, you're his older brother. You should look out for him more. Look out for him more? You do enough of that for him. Who's going to look out for me? Oh my gosh, Dylan, you are being so dramatic. Why don't you just go and get some new clothes, okay? Well, what am I supposed to buy with $40? I don't know, Dylan. Why don't you go figure it out? You can't keep playing favorites like this, Mom. It's not fair. I don't know what you're talking about, Dylan. I don't play favorites with my sons. I love you both equally. Yeah, well, you have a funny way of showing it. Thanks for letting me hang out here, Steve. You're a really good friend. What? No, it's no sweat, Dylan. You're my best friend. You can stay here as long as you want until your mom finds a new place. Well, luckily, she just got a new house, apparently. But I'll keep that offer in mind in case I need to run away or something. Aw, oh, come on, dude. Your family ain't that bad. Yeah, they may not seem bad. But just try living with them. I gotta go. Thanks again, man. I appreciate it. No problem, Dylan. See you around. I can't believe you're making me wait for a whole minute. I told you I was going to arrive at 6.30. Yeah, and it's 6.31. I just had to get my stuff. We need to get into the new house. Uh, fine, whatever. Well, this is it. Oh, Mom, this is awesome. I want this room. I call it. Hey, wait a second. Is there another room? Only looks like there's two bedrooms in this house. Yes, this one's Will's, and I need the other one, obviously. Where am I going to stay? Oh, we have that comfy new couch. You can sleep on that. What? Mom, I'm not sleeping on the couch. I was doing that in the hotel room. Well, I bet if you asked Will, maybe he will share the room with you. Well, I don't want to share. I want my own room. Oh, honey, fine. You don't have to share unless you want to. Dylan can deal with the couch. No, this isn't fair. I want my own wow, room. Wow, look who's being spoiled now. Now, Will, honey. Honey, what do you think? Maybe we should get you a new king-size bed. Ugh, unbelievable. Well, at least we're closer to the school now. It's a nice, easy walk back home. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, man, I slept so good last night. I actually really like our new house. I'm glad to know you love the new house, and you got a great night's sleep, where I got a horrible night's sleep, Will. 
That couch was not as comfortable as mom made it out to be. Oh, you're just being a crybaby. I am not being a crybaby. You try sleeping on the couch. Ew, no, sleeping on the couch? Why would I do that? You don't even see what's going on, do you? You are so spoiled. You have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not spoiled. Mom just sees the good in me. You're just jealous that no one loves you. No one loves me? That's not true. I can't wait to take everything from you, Dylan. We're brothers, Will. We're supposed to take care of each other and look out for each other. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. Mom says so. You're just a pathetic loser. You call me that one more what? time. Pathetic loser. Oh, that's it. Oh, get away from get me. Get over here, Will. No. Ah! Mom. Mom. What is going on, Will? Is everything okay? Dylan's gone crazy. He's trying to attack Dylan, me. Dylan, what has gotten into you? I'm sick of Will and his attitude. Seems as though you're the one with the attitude. No, trust me, I'm not. You know, he didn't even thank me for saving him from the fire. I didn't ask you to come in there and save me. See how spoiled he's acting? Dylan is not acting spoiled. You don't see it because, because you don't love me. Oh my gosh, this again? You only love Will, Mom. It's pretty clear. You always take his side with everything. Will just needs a little more attention. Because he's a big baby and he always will be. <laughs> That is it. You are grounded, young man. And I'm turning off the internet on all of your devices. You do not talk to your brother that what way. What are you going to do, Mom? Send me to my room? You're going to go sit in the living room, and that's final. Ugh, whatever. Hey, Dylan, I'm happy you could sneak out and meet me here. I haven't seen you in like a week since you've been grounded. Yeah, I know, dude. And it's the worst. I don't even want to talk about it. I just want to enjoy my night with my friend and hang out. And I know just what we're going to do next. Let's go to the arcade. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. You know, I'm probably going to beat you in every game, though. Oh, I'm not going to let that happen again. Trust me, I've been training. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've been training? Doesn't look like it. Oh, you're just too good. Yeah, man, thanks for suggesting this. This means a lot. You really helped me calm down, you know? Hey, no problem. You need it to relax. What's the problem? Hey, you. Officer, is everything okay? Get on the ground right now. Wait, what? What did I do? Do as I all say. Right, all right, all right. What is happening? All right, kid, here you go. <sighs> Great. Well, about time you're home. Mom, I can't believe you did that. You got me arrested for sneaking out of the house? Yeah, that's what you get. It's not a criminal offense, Mom. You could have just called me or texted me. Do you have any idea what was going on here? Poor Will had nobody to hang out no with. No one to hang out with? How is this still about Will? What are you talking about? I snuck out to clear my mind and hang out with my friend. And you are making this about Will? Don't you see what you're doing, Mom? Why are you treating me like this? Look, I'm doing the best I can, Dylan. What more do you want from me? I don't know. A mom that loves me? <sighs> oh my goodness. That is so rude. I am your mother. What makes you feel that you can talk to me this way? Because it feels as though you literally don't care how I feel. My life completely changed once Will was born. Everything was about him. It's like you completely forgot about me. Look, Will just needs more stuff and attention and that that's just it. You know what? Fine. He can have it all because I'm done with this. I'm going to go stay with Steve. You can't do that. You're grounded. It doesn't matter anymore, Mom. It's obvious you don't want me a part of this family, so I won't be. Dylan, wait. Stop. Come on, dude, we're gonna be late. All right, I got all my stuff, let's go. Living with you has been the best. Of course, man, it's been great. I love going to school with you every morning. And you know I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I know, I appreciate Dylan, it. There you are, finally. Mom, what do you want? Have you seen your brother anywhere? Have you heard from him? No, I haven't seen or talked to him in weeks. Oh, this isn't good, this isn't good. We were on a hike and Will just ran off. Will ran off? No one's been able to find him. And I'm starting to get really worried. I don't know where he could be. Oh no, Will, what have you gotten into this time? Gotta find him. Steve, we've gotta do something. Yeah, I can help me and my dad go hiking all the time. I got some gear back in my garage. All right, let's grab that and head off to the trail. If Will is out in those woods, I don't know how long he can last. Yeah, I don't think he'll last very long out there. We'll find him, Mom. Don't worry. We'll bring him back safe. My mom said she last saw Will around here, so I guess this is the best place to start looking. Will! Will, come on, dude! Where are you? Will! Where are you, you big crybaby? Seriously? What? Am I helping him come out? Wait, did you hear that? That sounded just like him. Will! There you are! <laughs> dude, everything's gonna be okay, all right? Don't worry, I'm here. You're the last person I expected to come looking for me. Will, we're still brothers, okay? And I still care about you, even if you don't care about me. Dylan, what are you talking about? Of course I care about you. Oh, what was that? It's 
sounded like a bear. A bear? Oh no, I don't want to be eaten alive. Then you shouldn't have run away in the woods in the first place. Oh, come on. We got to get back to safety. You know bears can run, right? Yeah, I do. That's why I'm going to be the distraction. Steve, I want you to get Will out of here. Get him to safety. Come on, let's go. All right, here goes nothing. Hey, don't eat me. I'm over here. Oh, I think it's coming after me. I gotta lose him somehow. Oh my gosh, there's gotta be another way. Oh no, no! I think we're losing him. No, 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 this isn't happening. I don't think he's gonna make it. What? No, 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 this is impossible. There, there's gotta be something you can do. I'm only a doctor, ma'am. Your son fell off a cliff. He's got bruises, broken bones, internal bleeding. I don't think he's gonna make it. No, no, I, he can't. He's my son. I, I care so much for him. I was so harsh on him. I wish I was able to tell you before you got hurt. I'm so sorry for the way that I treated you, Dylan. I do love you. I love you so much. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Dylan! Mom? Mom, is that you? Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Danny, thanks to you, we both passed the math test. Yeah, it must have been some kind of weird twin connection we have. Whoa! Surprise! Mom, you bought a new car? I didn't buy myself a new car. Eric, this is for you. What? No way! You did such a good job passing your math test yesterday, so I wanted to treat you to something nice. Oh, this is so sick! I have a Tesla now! Wait a second, Eric passes and he gets a Tesla? What do I I get. This isn't about you. This is about Eric. Come on, Eric. Let's go take it out for a test drive. Uh, yeah, awesome. Well, what about me? You can just walk home. All right, Mom, you ready? Oh, oh, hey! Oh, man, I'm so cold. I'm soaking wet. Oh, Mom, I'm totally going to beat you. I just don't know how to get the hang of these things. There's so many buttons. Oh, Mom. Yo, Danny, what's up, dude? Took you long enough to get here. Well, maybe if you guys actually drove me home, I would have been home a whole lot sooner. I don't want to hear back talk from you, mister. Why don't you go wash the dishes or go to your room and do homework and leave me and your brother alone? <sighs> Fine. Oh, my gosh. Seriously? There's so many dishes. Danny, get the door. Ugh. Hey, guys. Your pizza here? Two large pepperonis for Eric? Yes, thank you so much. Seriously, no tip? Come on. Thanks, Mom. And it's all for you, honey. What are we going to have for dinner? There's food in the fridge. Figure it out yourself. Man, I've got so much work to do today. Yo, Danny, you got a second? Sort of. Kind of busy. What's up, dude? Yo, dude, I was thinking about yesterday. I want to say I'm sorry, man. Deemed really bummed out. Yeah, I am kind of bummed out, Eric. Well, what's the big deal? I mean, I usually know what you're thinking, but... This time, I have no idea. Well, I just don't understand what mom's problem is. Oh, seriously, this again? What? You don't see it? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Mom favors you over me all the time. She literally just bought you a Tesla and two pepperoni pizzas. And she got me nothing. I was the one that helped you with all those math tests. Dude, you're just overthinking things, man. Mom loves us both. You just don't see it. I'm just so glad the tutoring I've been giving you is finally paying off for you. Mom, dude, you know I need the help. You're a genius, and I'm kind of dumb. You're not dumb. I'm not all that smart. Yeah, you are. Um, excuse me, I need help. Oh, yeah, how can I help you? My computer isn't turning on, and I really want to watch some Netflix. Oh, okay, sure, let me look at it. Oh, it looks like you just need to replace the battery. Wait, really? Yeah, super easy fix. Should be as good as new. Oh my gosh, thank you. See, dude, I told you. You're super smart. I don't know how to do that stuff. Just give yourself a chance, that's all. Yo, I'm so glad our shift is over, man. Yeah, me too. I can't wait to go home. Hi, Eric. Another great day of work. Yeah, thanks, Mom. But really, Danny did good too. I mean, he's the one that fixed everyone's stuff. Yeah, of course he did. What are you even doing here, Mom? I know you really wanted to try that new restaurant that's just opened up, so I thought we should go tonight. Oh, the ramen shop? Yeah, absolutely. Danny, you're going to come too, right? Yeah, I would love to, but I don't think I should. What? Really? Why not? I know I'm not welcomed anyways. Look, I'll catch you later. Danny, seriously? Don't worry about him. Let's go out to dinner. Hey, Mom, I want to talk to you about something. Not right now. I'm in the middle of something. Honestly, Mom, I don't really care. What? What is your problem? Eric and I are both twins, but no matter what happens, Eric always gets rewarded, and I get nothing. Are you seriously complaining to me right now? I'm trying to work to afford a living for the both of you two. I just don't get why you treat Eric differently than me, unless you love him more than me. I don't know what you're talking about. I love you just as much as I love your brother. No, you don't. You treat me completely different than Eric. He gets everything he wants, and you just ignore me. You are being so self-centered right now. Everything can't always be about 
about you, you know that? Maybe something can be about me. Maybe one little thing can be about me. But no, it's always about Eric. Don't you dare walk away from me, mister. Well, it's too late. I'm walking. 16 minus 2T. <laughs> so funny, right? <laughs> I know. <sighs> 16 minus 2 times. Yeah, can we go back again? I had so much fun. <laughs> yes, of course. We can go anytime you'd like. Oh my gosh, I can't believe them. And I can't believe the chef just threw the food right in my mouth. That guy had serious skill. <laughs> I know. That hibachi place is so much fun. Hey, guys, do you mind keeping it down? Dude, what's the problem? Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to study for the math final, and it's way too difficult to do when all I hear is you guys. Danny, how dare you yell at me and your brother? Yeah, dude, we're just trying to have fun. Well, it's not fun trying to study and not being able to concentrate. You guys going around bragging about your new fancy dinner. It's just annoying. Yo, dude, chill out. You know what, Danny? Get out. I do not want you in this house in here anymore. Wait, Mom? Eric, hold on. Danny, you heard what I said. Now get marching. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Your attitude is unbelievable, young man. Yo, dude, hold up. Just go away, Eric. No, Danny, wait. Seriously. What? What do you want? Dude, what is going on with you and mom? I don't know. I don't know what her problem is. Honestly, it feels like you're the one that has a problem, man. No, it's not. I tried talking to her and she just doesn't understand. I just feel invisible to her, you know? Like, she doesn't even see me. Dude, mom totally sees you. I see you right now. God, that's not what I'm talking about. Dude, she's just annoyed that you're trying to make her see you. You know what I mean? What? You're always trying to get her attention and her approval. Just chill out a little, man. No, you don't get it. Once I graduate, I'm going to move out and go somewhere where I'm actually wanted. Dude, I appreciate you. I always want to be around you, man. You're my twin brother. We're like two halves of the same brain. Hearing you say this stuff just, just makes me sad. Ugh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, okay? If I graduate and if I move out, obviously more than welcome to come with me. Yeah, duh. I don't want to go anywhere without you. So, well, then you just come home already. Mom will be over it, I promise. Yeah, fine. I'll come home. Excuse me, I need some help. Mom? What's the problem? Is everything okay? Where's your brother? Uh, he's right back over there. Eric, I need your help. Uh, what's wrong, Mom? There's something wrong with my laptop. It's not functioning properly. Oh, um, okay. Did you try turning it on? Honey, of course I did. But there's something wrong with it. Oh, right. Um, uh, do you need some of my help? Yeah, I really think I do. But it's just super laggy and just... Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's not good. What, what just happened? We don't know. Your laptop just kind of died. What? Danny, what did you do? What? I didn't even touch your laptop. Yeah, Mom, this wasn't his fault. Oh, yes, it was. He had something to do with it for sure. And what seems to be the problem over here? This young man broke my laptop. Danny, why would you do such a thing? You know how expensive laptops are. I didn't do you it. You know, I'm starting to get sick of you. And I'm starting to get sick of trying to tell the difference between you and your brother. You know what? Just get out of my store. You are fired for sabotaging a customer. I cannot believe you. You got me fired. You did that yourself, young man. No, I didn't. That was your fault. Because you didn't help your brother fix my computer. I didn't even touch your computer. Eric was trying to, and he didn't know what he was doing. Yeah, Mom, I'll be honest. Danny knows way more about that stuff than me. That's not true, honey. You're just as smart as your mean, selfish brother. Eric wanted to fix a computer on his own. I was just going to help him. Yeah, Mom, I wanted to help you. I just didn't know what to do. Well, it's not your responsibility to help your brother all the time. You know what? You guys just stop. <coughs> Eric? <coughs> Eric, are you Okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just need to get some water. That's all. Yo, mom, this dinner is so good. I'm glad you like it, honey. You know your birthday is coming up, right? Yeah, of course. I can't wait for our birthday. Can't you, Danny? Yeah, it should be fun. Eric, what would you like to do for your birthday? Well, I was thinking Danny and I should have a real big party. Invite all of our friends. Maybe rent like an Airbnb or something. Eric, this is about you. You can get whatever you want. Well, I think that's a cool idea. Danny, what do you think? Yeah, that sounds fun. Don't ask your brother for his approval. You can do things on your own. Yeah, but we're twins and we share the same birthday. Shouldn't we spend the day together doing what we both want to do? No, you know what, Eric? It's fine. I'll just celebrate my birthday somewhere else by myself without mom. Unbelievable. Mom, I want to celebrate my birthday with Danny. Well, clearly your brother has other plans. Yeah, because you're making it all about me, not about him. I want us to do something together, whether you like it or not. <sighs> Fine. I guess it's both of y'all's days, so you can do whatever you want. Awesome. Yo, Danny, dude, 
What? You didn't have to do that, you know. Of course I did, man. I've always got your back. You seriously think I'm gonna spend our birthday without you? That'd be so dumb. It would be kind of dumb. I mean, it just makes sense to have you with me, dude. Don't worry about it. Our birthday's gonna be sweet. Thanks, Eric. Danny, you need to come with me. Mom, where are we going? I need your help to set up the birthday party. Oh, okay. Should I get Eric too? No, your brother is too busy. I need your help. All right, sure thing. So where are we going exactly? The party supply store, obviously. Oh, right, okay. Mom, why do you like Eric more than me? Uh, this again? Yeah, of course this again. I want to know why. Now that we're in the car, you got nowhere else to go. Look, Eric used to always be sick when he was younger, even to a point where it got really, really bad. I just want to make sure that Eric is always taken care of. Okay, but what about me? Ever since you were little, you were always good and fine and the perfect child. I just feel like it wasn't fair for Eric, so I have to make up for it by rewarding him. And I want to make sure that Eric has the perfect birthday party. So I'm leaving you out here in the woods. What? I don't need you at this party. It would make Eric look bad. Mom, are you serious? Wait! Mom? Hey, Mom! Oh, hi, honey. Are you having the best time of your life or what? Yeah, this is really fun. But, uh, where did Danny go? Oh, he just decided he wanted to go to work instead of this party. What? That doesn't make any sense. We both have the day off. I don't know. That's just what he told me. That's not true at all. Danny, dude, there you are. Why do you look so filthy, man? Because Mom left me in the middle of the woods. What? What is wrong with you, Danny? Why would you lie like that? No, Mom, I'm at my limit with all of this. It's obvious that you don't care about me at all. And if you don't want me so badly, then fine. Danny, dude. No, Eric, I've had enough of this. Once I'm done and I graduate, I'm moving out and you're never going to see me again. Oh, really? You think you can live on your own like that? You must be ridiculous. No, guys, stop. So sick of you guys always arguing, especially on our birthday. <coughs> Eric? Eric, are you okay? Oh, my gosh, Eric. Doctor, what is going on with my son? Ah, oh, don't worry. He'll be just fine. Just part of the condition he's had since he was a kid. Yeah, you remember this used to happen. Of course I do. It's just, it's so scary. You know, too much stress and anxiety and he's gonna get sick again. Eric told me what happened between the two of you. You know, you guys need to keep things calm for Eric's sake. Otherwise, he's gonna get really sick again. All right, Eric, I'm gonna get you some jello from the cafeteria. Awesome. Thanks, doctor. Boys, I'm so sorry for the way I acted. And I'm sorry, too. I didn't mean to cause you any more stress, Eric. I just don't like seeing my mom and my brother fighting. We're family, and we all need to get along, because we all love each other. You're right. You know, life is so short. So from now on, I'm going to be taking care of both of you guys the same way. Oh my gosh, dude, this day has been awesome. Yeah, Trevor, happy birthday. So what should we do next? Well, gee, man, I don't know. Maybe we can buy some robots and, uh, oh, I think I'm gonna call for mom. Hello? Hi, Trevor. That was mom. She told us to go out front. I think she might have a surprise for us. Hi, Trevor. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, mom, you got us a Lambo. I got you a Lambo, Trevor. Mom, what did you get me? Uh, for you? I forgot. You forgot? What do you mean? How could you forget my birthday gift? Trevor and I are twins. Oh my gosh, you're being so dramatic. Now come on, Trevor, let's go take it for a spin. Oh man, this is gonna be so sick. Okay, whatever, bye then. Ugh, I can't believe I had to walk all across town just to get home. <laughs> oh, man, today's been so much fun, Mom. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm so glad. Today's your special day. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Spencer. Hope you had a whole lot of fun driving the Lambo. I had to walk all the way across town just to get home. Aw, uh, man, get over it. It's no big deal. Get over it? Come on, dude. It's not that serious. Plus, the walk isn't that bad. I agree. I think you need the exercise anyways. What? Mom, why did you get him a Lambo anyways? And then you got me nothing. Spencer Spencer, you're being very childish right now, okay? You're starting to ruin your brother's birthday. His birthday? It's our birthday. We're twins. Is it because you don't love me, Mom? It's obvious you love Trevor way more. That is not true. I just feel like you need a little more tough love than Trevor. Tough love? What is that supposed to mean? You are acting like a spoiled little brat. This further proves that you need more tough love. Ugh, I can't believe this. I'm not the one that spoiled Trevor is. And if you want to just spend the day with him, fine. I'll leave. Wait, no, Trevor, man. Hold up, man. Come back. 
This has to be the worst birthday out of all the birthdays. My mom always gets Trevor whatever he wants. This time she went over the top. Hey, Spencer, what the heck is your deal, man? Why'd you outburst like that? <sighs> Trevor, just go away, okay? Not really in the mood. Not in the mood, dude. Tell me what's wrong. You're causing a scene. Isn't it obvious, Trevor? Mom loves you way more than she loves me. This again? Mom does not love me more than she loves you. That's insane. You just don't get it because it's not happening to you, Trevor. You don't understand. No, I do understand. And I don't like that you're acting so jealous. Jealous? It's just not fair. Just whatever. I'm going home. Oh, I cannot wait to tell mom what happened at school today. Someone was choking in the cafeteria and I saved them. I'm a hero now. Mom, mom, guess what? Oh, Trevor, honey, I'm so proud of you. Oh, uh, you know, mom, I just did what anybody else could have done. But you know, I did it. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Oh my gosh, honey, so awesome. Uh, hello, mom. Spencer, I have no time for you right now. Did you not hear what happened with your brother today? He saved someone's life. What? Yeah, your brother saved someone from choking in the cafeteria. He's a hero. <laughs> Mom, it's no big deal. Trevor did not save somebody. I did. That was me. Oh my gosh, I have had enough, Spencer. Not everything is about you. Well, this is about me because I was the one that did it. Dude, are you honestly trying to take credit for something I did? Just because we look the same doesn't mean that you can copy everything I do. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy. Trevor, tell the truth. I was the one that saved Caleb from choking at school. You were having lunch with your friends laughing. Spencer, stop this right now. I just don't know why everybody's yelling. You guys know I have sensitive hearing. And now look what you've done, Spencer. First Trevor's birthday, and now this? You're impossible. You know what, Lorraine? You're impossible, and you're the worst mom ever. If you keep talking like that, you're gonna be grounded for the rest of your life. Go up to your room right now. Oh, man, I can't believe this. Bobby, they sold out of tickets to Officer Rufus and the Planet of the Squirrels. Oh, what? No way, dude. I really wanted to see that. Yeah, I know. I did, too. Plus, I was super pumped to hang out with you, man. Yeah, dude. But, like, if the movie sold out, I guess we should just go home, right? I guess. I just really did not want to go home tonight. No, oh, yeah, man. That fight with your family? Like, that sucks. Like, seriously, your brother is messed up for doing that stuff to you. He didn't even help you out. Yeah, well, even if he did, it really wouldn't have mattered anyways. My mom only loves Trevor. She can't stand being around me. Yeah, but wasn't your brother, like, super sick as a kid? Yeah, he was for a while. Yeah, I remember Trevor was never around. Your mom was spending a lot of time with him. Maybe she just feels like she needs to protect him. Yeah, maybe, but it still sucks. It still makes me feel like garbage. And neither of them understand that. Regardless, dude, you're still doing everything right. You're killing it in school. You also saved Caleb's life in the cafeteria? Then Trevor took all the credit for dude, it. Dude, whatever, man. It's all gonna work out for you, I promise. Yeah, well, thanks, Bobby. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you later, man. Man, I am super hungry. I know mom probably got Trevor his favorite takeout, as usual. Oh, dude, leave me alone! I said, shut up and give me all the money you got. Are you dumb? What? No, I'm not dumb, man. I just don't have that much money, dude. Uh, Trevor? You know what? You're wasting my time. You're pathetic. Oh. Oh. Trevor! What? The two of you? Uh, I'm out of here. Hey, Trevor, are you okay? Um, I only got 20 bucks left. Don't take it all. Uh, you're gonna be fine. All right, come on. Let me get you home. Hey, Spencer, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. I'm just glad you're okay. Oh my gosh, Trevor, there you are. I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, yeah, Mom, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. I cannot believe you would let this happen, Spencer. What? You can't be serious. I wasn't even with Trevor today. It's not my fault he got robbed. That's exactly why he got robbed. You should have been with him. You could have done something to stop this. What? No, 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 Mom, Mom. He did defend me. He chased after the guy. Yeah, he just got away. I was going to stop him if I could. Well, you clearly did not try hard enough. I can't believe you could let something like this happen. Mom, Mom, it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. It will be fine. Spencer, I don't want you to leave your brother's side. I need you to make sure he is going to be okay. Yeah, fine. I'll make sure Trevor is safe from now on. Good. You better. Dude, congratulations. I can't believe you won an award. I told you you aced it on those papers, man. Yeah, I guess I was top in the class. This is kind of cool, isn't it? Dude, it's absolutely insane. I've never met anybody who won an award. What? Well, I think. I don't know, man. Still, I can't believe your mom and your brother did. Yeah, it was kind of a big ceremony. 
I don't know why they didn't show up either. Hey, you know what, bro? It's just water under the bridge, man. I'm just hoping they come and pick me up now. I figured if my mom and brother showed up, I'd at least get a ride home. Oh, dude, if you need a ride, my family can give you one. Thanks, man, but I think I'll wait. My mom will be even more mad at me if she shows up and I'm not here. Oh, yeah, good call, bro. Congratulations again, dude. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Oh, man, it's starting to get cold. I guess no one came to pick me up. Not even my brother and his big fancy Lambo. Ugh, I guess I have to walk home again. Wow, thanks for picking me up from school, Mom. Really appreciate it. Look, I have more important things on my mind right now, okay, Spencer? More important things? I won a big award at school, and you couldn't even show up or pick me up and drive me home. Spencer, stop it. Look, your brother just got caught shoplifting, okay? What? Spencer got caught shoplifting? Why would he do that? That's not like him at all. I don't know. He's in jail, and I just want to get my poor baby out of there. I don't know what to do. Mom, everything's going to be fine. If he got caught shoplifting, maybe this will teach him a lesson. How how dare you be so insensitive to your brother? Mom, just stop it, okay? You baby him so much. Why do you love him way more than me? That is not true. I love y'all both. Look, this is all in your head. Trevor just needs a little more help and appreciation, okay? Little more help and appreciation? Can't you see that you spoil him like crazy? No wonder why he went shoplifting. Hold on one second. Hello? I'm coming right now. I have to go get Trevor. I'll be back. Yeah, of course. At least you can go pick up Trevor, not me. Dude, you were avoiding me all night. We need to talk. Talk about what, Spencer? What is your problem, dude? I don't have any problem, Spencer. Some stuff happened recently, and I'm over it. There's nothing to talk nothing about. Nothing to talk about? Maybe you spending half the day in jail because you got caught shoplifting? Listen, I was just with some friends. They wanted to steal some stuff, and I figured, you know what? Might as well go along with it. I didn't think I would get caught. You know that's wrong. Just because your friends are stealing doesn't mean you should, too. You should be able to think for yourself, dude. What? Think for myself? You are completely dependent on what mom thinks of you. What? No, I'm not. Throughout this entire week you have been crying to me over and over again that mom loves me more than she loves you this is not about me right now trevor this is about you getting caught stealing all i'm trying to say is your friends suck and you should know what's right you know it's crazy that you of all people are telling me my friends suck when you only have like what one friend to begin with yeah but at least he wouldn't make me steal yeah whatever dude you're just being a jealous baby and you are being a spoiled brat whatever trevor Oh my gosh, Mom, thank you so much. This is incredible. This car looks amazing. Of course, honey, you deserve it. It even looks better than the first one. What the heck is all this? Well, this is your brother's new car. Yeah, dude, it's sick, isn't it? No, it's not sick. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Your brother went through a lot this week, so he does deserve this. Can't you see what you're doing, Mom? You're completely enabling him. Trevor, shut up. You are just so jealous of everything I do. I'm absolutely sick of it. No, I am not going to shut up. I am so sick and tired of this. I work so hard. I do the right thing all the time. And I can't even have my family show up to my award ceremony. Spencer, it is not always just about you, okay? Right, okay. So then let's talk about Trevor, Mom. Let's talk about how your son is a thief and you buy him a new car the day after he spends the night in jail. Do you understand how traumatizing that is? He needed this to get his mind off of that terrible night. He must have been so scared. I was, Mom. I was so scared. This is insane. I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. Oh, great job, Spencer. You picked an awesome night to run away. It's freezing cold, and now it's snowing, and you don't have anywhere to go. I did not think this through, man. But you know what? I can't last too long in this cold. Oh, the old Christmas tree farm. And there's a log cabin over there. Huh, maybe I can sleep there until the morning. It doesn't look like anyone's here. Hey, oh. what are you doing in my cabin? Oh, no. I, I, look, I'm so sorry. I just don't have anywhere to go, okay? I just ran away from my family. Oh, running away, huh? That's not good. Wait a second. I remember you. Weren't there two of you? Yeah, me and my twin brother. I remember you two. What happened? You guys look like a pretty happy family. Oh, it's a long story. Well, if you don't have anywhere to go, I guess you can stay here at the farm tonight. That's not a problem. Really? Thank you. I'm super grateful. Don't want to turn it into a popsicle. <laughs> 
Oh, look who it is. The baby himself. Did you really have to cry and run away like that? Yeah, I did. I had to get away from you and mom. Why? Because you were jealous? Jealous of what? Well, I don't know. What do you cry about literally every week? She loves you more than me. She loves you more than me. You're just a jealous little brat. And you are a spoiled brat. Let's just be real. The only reason that you hate me so much is because every time you see yourself in the mirror, you see me. You want to be me so bad. Trust me, Trevor. I don't want to be you at all. Hey, what is going on over here? Spencer, Trevor, you guys causing a scene. Don't you get enough attention being twins already? Principal Green, I'm sorry. And I'm sorry that you two have been fighting and causing drama all over school, and I can't have that. You're both suspended. Wait, what? You've got to be kidding me. It's not my fault that he's obsessed with me. I am not obsessed with you. All right, enough. I am suspending you, and that is final. No, Principal Green, please. This is going to affect me going to college. Yeah, well, you should have thought of that before you were screaming at each other in the hallways like babies. Plus, your brother's a total spoiled brat. He's going down a wrong path. Well, like you actually care. Shut up. Oh, really? Because of that, you're suspended for an extra month. Spencer, we need to talk. Mom, can't this wait? I'm at work right now. No, this can't wait. I cannot believe you got Trevor suspended. What? I got him suspended? That's not true at all. Well, that's not what he told me. Obviously, because he lies to you always to get his way. You need to stop defending him and spoiling him so much. It's turning him into a rotten person. Oh my gosh, Spencer. You need to stop with this jealousy thing. So what? I got him a couple of cars. Big deal. It is a big deal because he doesn't appreciate it at all. Ugh, this needs to stop and you need to come home too. I'm I'm not coming home. I can't stand being around him. Honestly, I don't care anymore. What do you mean you don't care? I'm gonna go off to college and move on with my life. And I'm gonna leave the people that hate me behind, like you and my stupid twin brother. You just don't care about us at all, do you? That's not true at all. I love you guys so much, but I'm hurt and you don't seem to care at all. Now, if you don't mind, mom, I have to go to work. Welcome back, bro. What was life like on the other side? Suspended for a week, that's nuts. It was not that great, Bobby, honestly. I just hope it doesn't affect me going to college. This is gonna be on my permanent record now. I don't think you have to worry about your own record. It's Trevor who should be worrying about his record, man. He's going down a real bad path. <sighs> what are you talking about? It's only been like a week. Are people still spreading rumors at school? Yeah, man, they've been TPing houses, breaking into cars, stealing stuff. What? If Trevor Trevor's really doing all that stuff? That is so bad. And he's not gonna get away with it for long. Oh, for sure, dude. The cops are gonna catch him eventually. Yeah, and that's not gonna end well at all. Sure, my brother sucks, but I don't want that to happen to him. For sure, dude. I completely understand. We gotta get to class, bro. We're gonna be late. Oh, man, I cannot wait to go home and take a shower. I reek like coffee. Wait, what the heck was that? Come on, bro. You said you were good yeah, at man, this. Yeah, man, I am. Like, trust me, I'm trying. Trevor? Trevor, hey. Oh, great, Spencer. Go away. What do you think you're doing? Oh, breaking into a car and taking it for a joyride. Yeah, yeah. Dad, just shut up, okay? Trevor, this needs to stop right now. Listen, just go home, Spencer. This has nothing to do with you. Trevor, you are being such a child. Do you want to get arrested for this? No, of course I don't. Shut up. I'm out of here. This sucks. You suck too, Trevor. What? No, Doug, come back. Sir oh, come on. Spencer, you are literally the worst person ever. You know that? I'm trying to save you from making a big mistake, dude. Just grow up. Why don't you grow up and leave me alone? You know what? If you want to be a loser and live your own life like this, then that's your choice. Okay, that's it. Oh, hey, seriously? Yes, seriously. You're the worst. Get away from me. Trevor, Trevor, where are you? He's not home, Spencer. What's wrong? What's wrong, Mom, is that Trevor is getting a whole lot worse. We just got into a fight because I caught him stealing a car. Honey, he's just going through something. Going through something? Mom, what is wrong with you? This is part of the problem, too. You know that, right? Spencer, please stop. No, because I am so sick of this. All you do is baby Trevor, and you can't see all the bad things that he does. Spencer, that isn't true. Yes, it is true, Mom, and it's tearing our family apart. Trevor thinks he's invincible, and he can do whatever he wants. Look... I'm sorry, but Trevor just, he needs a little more attention right he now. Needs a little more attention? How much more attention can he get? He just isn't like you, okay? Yeah, because I wasn't babied my whole entire life. Spencer, where's Trevor now? How am I supposed to know? I was looking for him. He just ran off. Can you please go find him? Yeah, fine, whatever. I'll try to bring him home. Not like he's gonna listen to me anyways.
Bobby, hey, Bobby. Dude, have you seen Trevor anywhere? No, dude, I haven't. Why? What's going on? Well, things are getting really bad for him right now. And of course, my mom is taking Trevor's side and she wants me to go look for him. All the rumors you heard at school, I think they're all right. Man, I'm just so sick of this. I just wish my mom could see the truth about Trevor, you know? That's kind of the problem, bro. She's probably just going to see him as that little baby who's always sick. Well, yeah, and now he's a grown-up and he's a monster. But somehow, I'm the one that has to go find him. Yeah, dude, I heard you ran away. Yeah, of course I did. I couldn't stay in that house anymore. You need a place to stay, bro. You can stay at mine. You can focus on graduation. Yeah, man, I'm definitely going to take you up on that. Thanks. Uh, if you don't mind, I got to go. I got to find Trevor. <sighs> Come on, man. Doug is the one who blows up my phone about stealing Christmas presents and he still doesn't show hey, up. Hey, Trevor. Oh, uh, Spencer, what do you want? I'm looking for you. Why can't you just leave me alone? Because I'm trying to help you. You have all the opportunity in the world. Why are you acting like this? You know what? Because I can, Spencer. I'm doing this because I want to. You just really want to be a criminal and a bad person? Well, you know what? You don't know what it's like to be me. I go through a lot of stuff, man. So, you know, maybe I just want to blow off some steam. By stealing. Yes, by stealing. You've got gotta be joking. Dude, you can't just go around and hurt people and make yourself feel better, okay? From the way I see it, if me and Doug steal these presents, then they can just buy new ones. It's no big deal. All of this just because you're jealous of me, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. You genuinely think I'm jealous of you. Guess what, Trevor? No one's jealous of you. And you're probably not even going to graduate school. Forget it, all right? Worry about your own life and quit worrying about mine if I'm such a loser. Dude, despite the fact that you got suspended, you're still finishing with top student in our school. How crazy is that? Bro? Well, I worked super hard, made sure I passed all my classes. And I'm really excited about graduating. Top of my class too? College is definitely gonna take notice of that. Yeah, totally, bro. By the way, is Trevor still gonna graduate? Probably not. My mom is spending all her money on tutors and trying to help him bring up his grades, but he doesn't even show up. Oh man, that's a bummer. Bro. Yeah, I didn't see him at school at all today, did you? What? No. No, not at all. You think he ditched? I totally think he ditched. There's gotta be some reason behind it though. Oh man, he could be hanging out with those sketchy dudes again. Stealing stuff? Oh, it's all gonna catch up to him eventually. I mean, I still kinda hope not. Huh? What do you mean? I just... I just want him to learn from his mistakes, that's all. Uh, dude, I understand, but at this point, I don't think he's gonna learn anything, man. Well, we're not gonna learn anything unless we get to class. Come on, let's go. Well, I don't know. We could always, like, throw rocks at, like, a dumpster or something. Yeah, I know, but we always throw rocks at dumpsters. We, why not throw rocks at, like, windows or something? Honestly, all this stuff sounds stupid. I'm bored, dude. You're boring me. Hey, sorry. Wait, hold on. I just got an idea. Wait, what? Let me hear I'm it. I'm just gonna steal stuff, duh. Oh, yeah, right. You know what I'm thinking, Trevor? That new iPhone is so sick. This belongs to me. What do you two think you're doing? Uh, nothing officer just hanging out uh, yeah we were just holding these for a friend yeah uh, well your friend's getting you sent to jail you're under arrest hey wait a sec mom what are you doing here oh thank goodness you're here yeah of course i'm here this is my job what's wrong trevor's in trouble well i'm not surprised what happened this time some people are lying and they said that he shoplifted a phone mom i'm gonna be honest with you it's probably true he's always getting into trouble yeah but this time i don't have the money to bail him out well good spencer can you please do it you want me to go bail trevor out no i don't want to spending some time in there might actually teach him a lesson i can't believe you're being so insensitive right now and i can't believe you're still babying him after all of this because your brother needs help Help. And I want you to move back home. I need you to help guide your brother. I tried that before and he doesn't want it. And honestly, I don't think he deserves it either. Your brother needs you. He's your twin after all. <sighs> fine, fine. Only because I care about my family. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Spencer. I hope you really appreciate me bailing you out, dude. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Spencer. Now, come on, let's go home. What? No, 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 I, I, I have plans. You have plans? What kind of plans do you have? You were just in jail. I still have friends, and I still have a social life, so I'm gonna go hang out with them. Are you kidding me? Do you have any idea how upset Mom is? You should go and talk to Mom her. Mom will be fine. The minute I go up to her, she'll just be happy. You are such 
a spoiled brat. You don't have to work for a single thing in your life. The least you can do is come home so mom isn't upset. I don't care if mom is upset. Are you serious? That's her mom. Oh, what, the mom you've been flipping out at? That mom? You're the one who called her by her first name. She almost lost it. Don't pretend all of a sudden that you care about mom. Of course I care about mom. And I don't know why, but for some reason, I still care about you too. She loves you way more than she loves me. So it's the least you could do is go and show her some respect. There he is, Mom. Now let him have it. Young man, do you have any idea how upset your brother is right now? Oh, he's upset? Ooh, whoop de doo Shut up, Spencer. You're always putting me down. It's not fair that you get to graduate and I don't. I work just as hard as you do. No, you don't. Look, it is not fair to Trevor that you are graduating with so many awards. I think you should give some to him. Are you joking me? Do I look like I'm joking? I'm not giving him a single thing. He didn't earn anything. I totally deserve it, man. I deserve everything. You're just being selfish. You keep saying that as a defense. And guess what, Trevor? It's not working. Mom, this is ridiculous. He can do no wrong in your eyes, can he? Spencer, that is not fair. It's hard to hear the truth. You're unbelievable. I can't deal with this right now. I'm out. Honey, wait. Oh, look what you've done. What I've done? Look at what you've done. You love him so much more than me. You are spoiling him constantly, and it's turning him into a monster. Spencer, I'm just trying to help him. Yeah, well, whatever. All the money you spent and all the help you've given him has got him really far, hasn't it? Look, I graduate on Friday, and if you don't feel like showing up, I won't be too upset about it. Dude, this is really it. We are graduating today. This is so exciting. I gotta admit, bro, I didn't think I'd get this far. I knew you would. How's your graduation speech? I think it's pretty good. At least I hope it is. So what did you think? Was it good? Spencer, your speech was amazing, bro. I can't believe we're going to college, man. Yeah, I can't believe we actually got into the same school. Well, I'm excited to go with you, man. I'm just kind of bummed out. My mom and my brother didn't even show up to support me. Hey, man, but your friends were still here. People who actually wanted to see you graduate came to see hey, you. Hey, Spencer. Trevor? Huh, I'm surprised you actually came. Yeah, I just wanted to give you something. Oh, dude, whoa. That's what you get for thinking you're better than me. You know what? I am so done with you, dude. And I'm done with mom, too. I don't need you guys. Huh, yes, you do. You're absolutely pathetic. You probably wouldn't have even graduated if it wasn't for me. You literally did nothing to help me graduate, Trevor. If anything, you almost messed it up. I'm so over this. I'm moving away, and I'm going to be successful and rich, unlike you. Oh, just shut up already. Ooh, I'm a responsible adult. Yeah, we get it. You graduated. Now go and move away. Man, that was a super long meeting. It was so good, though. I can't believe they actually let me host it for the first time. But now it's time for some lunch. I am starting to get... Mom, what are you doing here? Hi, Spencer. I was just wondering if, if you could give Trevor a job here. Wow, still babying Trevor, huh, Mom? Honey, he's in a really bad place, okay? Well, that's not my fault. And I'm not going to get him hired here. I just, I don't understand why you're like this. He deserves just as good of a job as you. It's been over four years now, and you still don't get it. You don't just get a job like I have. You actually have to earn it. Plus, my boss would never hire someone like Trevor. He's rude, he's untrustworthy trustworthy and he's a liar that is no way to talk about your brother spencer mom i really don't care he's your problem so you take care of him and if you don't mind i have to go to lunch and get back to my job because unlike him i have actual things i need to do man it feels so good to be home wait what was that is someone in my house a uh, typical spencer leaving your stash in the same place you always trevor uh are you stealing from me? I'm just taking what's rightfully mine. I totally deserve this. No, you do not. You think because I'm successful, that means you have to be as this well? This should be my house. This should be my money. I am supposed to be the successful one. You're the loser twin. You've got it all wrong, buddy. You are the loser twin. Do you have any idea what a terrible brother you are and how bad you are to me and to mom? Listen, I don't know what to do with my life, okay? The past four years hasn't been easy to me, and I'm jealous that everyone moved on okay you've got to get over it robbing your family isn't the way to get your life together now give me the money okay now get out of my house he's such a spoiled brat a jealous spoiled brat this isn't fair this should be my life this should be my house this should be my car my fancy new sports car that i should be driving on the speedway oh i don't believe this you know what he gets everything graduation money this is my car 
I'm taking it. Oh man, this thing is fat. Oh! I cannot believe you took my car and crashed it. You don't even have a license anymore, Trevor. <sighs> Whatever, dude. It's no big deal. No, it is a big deal, honey. But Trevor Spencer is right. What? No, Mom. No, I have always babied you, and that is why you are the way that you are. Spencer, I am so sorry. You were right. I can't believe we're actually learning about everything that's up in the sky. Man, this field trip is so dog. Who cares about space? One day, I'm going to become an astronaut and travel the stars. You're such an idiot, Ryan. Can't believe we're twin brothers. Freddy, what the heck? This is what you get. I hate you. Rocket blasting off in 10 Freddy, minutes. we're going to get in so much trouble. Yeah, that's what you think. Which one of you pushed the button? It was him, sir. I told him not to do it, but he just shoved me out of the way and pushed the button. Yeah, whatever. You're all you idiots are out of here. Oh my gosh, that's your problem. Great, thank Thanks again, Ryan, for getting the whole school's field trip ruined. Come on, class, we gotta go back to school. And Ryan, you have detention for a month. All right, everybody, I just wanted to remind you all once again, it was Ryan's fault that your field trip was ruined. Now, class, tell him how you feel. He sucks, I hate him. I wanted to learn about Mars. You ruined it. Freddy, you made the whole class hate me. What the heck? Yeah, well, it's what you deserve, Ryan. It's about time everyone saw who you really were. Ryan, I got a call from the school and they said that you ruined the field trip. I can't believe you do something like that. That's not how I raised you. It wasn't me. Freddy was the one that pressed the button to launch there the rocket. There he goes, lying once again, Dad. You need to stop blaming me for things. It's not my fault no one likes you. Ryan, it's one thing to make the mistake, but then to blame your brother, that's low. You're grounded and you're going to have to mow the lawn for the next month. Dad, it's, it's raining outside. I don't care. Mowing lawn. I want the lawn mowed by the end of the day. Oh, man, this has been a long day, but I'm just finishing um, up. I think you missed a spot, idiot, over there. Freddy, what's your problem, man? Seeing you walk around that whole field trip all happy, you deserved it. You don't need to worry about space, idiot, okay? Because there's nothing out there for you. The only thing that's out there for you is mowing this stupid lawn. All right, everybody, shut up. I have an important announcement. Gosh, you guys cannot stop talking. Hello, the science convention is coming up next week, and I want each of you to submit a project, and it better be good, something to impress us. Ooh, my robot is going to win this year. What the heck is this? It's a robot I built. I'm teaching it to do backflips and open up doors. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to teach it to eat my foot. Oh, man, what the heck? I've been working on that. Weeks. Oh well, too bad. Maybe it'll take another couple weeks for you to do something that right. It was uncalled for. It was totally called for. Science is stupid and so are you. Man, we used to both love doing science projects together. What happened? Uh, I grew up and stopped being a dumb baby. That's what happened. Man, you are so lame. Come on, man. Let's go to the science museum and we'll get some inspiration and we can do this next project together. Yeah, right. You've got to be kidding me. I want to do any project with you. Freddy, it'll be good. Just like when we were kids. Ugh, you're not gonna give this up, are you? Fine, whatever. Just as long as you shut up. No, oh, Ryan, this is gonna be so cool. I'm so glad we're working on this project together. Gary, I think that we can beat the school record with this one, man. Yeah, no one's ever seen anything like this before. This rocket is gonna blow their socks off. Mr. Porter is gonna be speechless. I can't wait to test it out. Hey, you two, keep it down. I'm doing real work next door. Sorry, Dad, we're just super excited. This rocket's gonna be amazing. You boys better not be blowing that thing off in our yard. You're gonna make the neighbors mad. Dad, we don't have neighbors. Yeah, and you wonder why. It's because of you and your loud mouth, Ryan. Dad, come check this rocket out. It's awesome. We're gonna bring it to the science convention and we might take first place with this thing. I don't thing. have time for this. We don't need this thing around at all. <laughs> I spent all my savings on the parts for that rocket, and you just destroyed now it. Now you can focus your time on taking care of our yard. Oh, man. Now we're both gonna fail. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, right, right, whatever. What do you say your name was, Randall? Uh, it's Ryan, sir. And you really want a job here at the game place? Yes, sir. I love video games, and uh, it would be pure joy to work here. Yeah, well, look. Hate to break it to you, but we don't hire nerds around here. If you hire me, sir, you could take some time off, and I may even be able to help you improve sales, because I've played a lot of these games. Improving sales? Time off? Okay, now you're speaking my language. All right, fine. Just as long as you do the job right, don't start a ruckus and stay out of my hair, I guess I'll hire you. And I'll be sure to pay you, too. Awesome. Thanks for the job, and I promise you won't regret it. 
Whoa, dude, look. This is one of the first rockets ever built. This thing is sick. Yeah, I wonder if we should use this design for our rocket. Man, I used to come down here with Freddy all the time. It was our favorite spot. Now it seems like he's not interested in doing anything with me. He's either glued to the video games or just sitting around doing nothing. Man, you're one of my best friends, but I have to admit, your twin brother is kind of a pet. It seems like the more I got interested with science, the more Freddy and I drifted apart. He used to be my best friend, and now we don't even like to spend time near each other. Oh, that really sucks, dude. You guys, uh, I hate to see you upset like this, man. Is there anything I could do? Let's just explore the rest of the museum and see what's beyond the Earth. Man, I love space. Dad? What are you doing here? Well, Freddy needs his own PS5 because he's tired of sharing with you, Ryan. Tired of sharing with me? I barely ever play it. Yeah, and uh, since you work here, you can give it to me for free, right? For free, Dad? I mean, I can get you a discount, but I can't give it to you for free. We'd be losing money. Oh, you don't want to give it to me for free? You don't want to help out your family? I need this job, and I can't just steal it for oh, you. Oh, you don't want to help me out. You don't want to help me get it for free. Then I guess I'm just going to have to do it all on my own. Like always. You're useless. This is the one, right? Yep, this is the one. See you later. Hey, what? What just happened in here, huh? Did someone steal? My dad just stole a PS5. What? You gotta be kidding me. You let your father steal a Thinking PS5? I, I tried to stop him. But you didn't. You are worthless. I knew I should have never hired you from the beginning. You're fired. Get out of my store. You're never welcome back at the game place again. Oh, man, this is so sweet. And the best part is, this is all mine. Oh, hey, Freddy. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna take Wait, this. What? Hey, what are you doing? Stop, idiot. That's mine. Freddy, this was stolen and it's not yours. It's not right and I'm returning it's not it. stolen. Dad got it for me. That's the one that stole it, Freddy. Oh, my gosh. All you want to do is ruin my life. All I've tried to do is connect with you and build our relationship. In return, you made me the class clown. Everyone hates me at school. And you and Dad keep teaming up against me to ruin my life Oh, my at home. gosh. Cry about it. Why don't you? You're so dumb. Give me back my PS5. No, it's not yours. See you oh, later. you're the worst! Yeah, yeah, whatever. I still hate your face. At least I did the right thing and returned it. That guy's crazy. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Gary. What's up, man? Can't believe your dad did that. What did you do? Just go return it? Yeah, I just gave it back. Unfortunately, I didn't get my job back. Yeah, that sucks. But don't worry about it, man. You don't need that job anyways. If I don't have the job, then I don't have the money to buy the parts for the rocket. Yeah, you might have the money for it, but I do. I've got a ton of money saved. More than willing to help out. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to try and build this thing and win first place. Yeah, me too. But I was thinking, with our initial plans, I think we need to go bigger and better than before. This rocket is going to be sick, dude. All right, class. You did a uh, mediocre today. Anyways, just wanted to remind you all, the science convention is tomorrow. So be ready to present your projects and make sure they're good. We have an actual astronaut showing up to be the special guest judge. And they'll be looking at the projects as well. So don't embarrass me. Oh, this is perfect. An actual astronaut's going to see our rocket? Oh, man, that's going to be sick. Gary, we got to nail this because I think that they're really going to notice it. No, this couldn't go any worse. Hey, guys, wait up. Oh, gosh, here he comes. Can I talk to you for a second? What is it, Freddy? Look, I really don't like this, but uh, I want to help you guys with your rocket. Dude, you haven't shown any interest in the science convention at all. Yeah, you just want to join us so that you can pass. I know you love all this space stuff and science or whatever, and I just want to help. That's all. Thanks, Freddy. Uh, Gary... I think we should let him join, man. What? Seriously? Yeah, everyone deserves a second chance. Okay, Freddy, we're definitely down to have you help us. Ugh, awesome. All right, Freddy, we need your help putting this last piece in. Do I really have to? I mean, isn't this fun? This is like old times, man, when we used to build science stuff all the time together. Yeah, those were good times, I guess. Well, I think this looks like it's pretty much done, guys. Look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah, this looks really cool. You think we're gonna win? With the special guest being an astronaut, I think we got a great chance. Hey, Freddy, it really meant a lot to have your help. I'm glad you joined. Yeah, yeah, so am I. Listen, guys, this was cool at all, but uh, hey, my mom's here. Ryan, do you mind walking me to the car? All right, yeah, we're all wrapped up here. See you later, Freddy. You were so excited about this stupid rocket. Well, this will teach you. Ha, ha, I hate you so much! Uh. <laughs> now, you're not going anywhere.
Today's the day. Oh, I cannot wait to show this. Th what the heck? No. What happened? Freddy, why would you do that, man? That was our project. You were in it with us. I don't even know what you're talking about. You destroyed the rocket, man. You need to give up this whole dumb dream of yours, Ryan. It's stupid. It's not stupid, man. Why would you say because that? Because you don't understand what that's going to mean for me. What do you mean, Freddy? What does it mean for you? You become a big fancy astronaut? That's so cool and all. Then you're going to be up in space for long periods of time, and you're going to leave me here alone. I don't want to be left alone. Boys, boys, what's going on? Dad, Freddy destroyed our science project. Good. I told you, Ryan, to stop messing around with those things. You just can't seem to listen. See, even Dad agrees that it's stupid. Both of you are not getting the point. I've had enough of you messing with me and calling me a loser. I'm going to be an astronaut and go explore space. I'll be done with both of you. I've had enough of this. Oh man, we're gonna be late. It's okay, we made it just in time. Now, time to test this thing. Okay, okay. Next, next we have Ryan and Gary with a rocket ship. This has gotta work. Come on, man, do it. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it works. That's even better than our original. Wow, that's amazing. Two students building a rocket that can go that high. Great work. I look forward to seeing you at the space station someday. Oh, man, he's totally into it. We're going to be astronauts, dude. I know it. Good job, Gary. We did it. Man, I have been working for this moment for so many years. And it's finally here. Oh, the nerves are getting to me a little bit. Dad, Freddy, what are you guys doing here? I didn't think you'd come to support me. Oh, we're not here to support you, loser. You know what? That is enough. You two have been fighting against me my entire life, and here I am becoming the astronaut that I told both of you I would become, and you two just can't stand it. I'm gonna follow my dreams no matter what you say. Jeez, it was just a joke, Ryan. Gosh, I'm sorry. That wasn't a joke, man. That hurt. Look, I'm scared, okay? Don't go on that rocket. I don't wanna lose my brother. You're not gonna lose me. Yeah, I have dreams of being an astronaut and I'm chasing them, but that doesn't change our relationship. You really don't think so? No matter how far away I am, I'm always gonna be your brother and I'll always be there for you.